Good day Android Studio Coders! Welcome again to Android Studio Channel here at YouTube. And this is the third part of my tutorial and this is now about the search function. A list view tutorial on the search function. So why do we need a search function? There are instances that the items inside our list view are already too many. For example, you have 100 items and you only want to filter the items that you need. For example, you only want to see those that starts with letter C. So how do you do that if your items are not in alphabetical order? So you need some sort of a filter function or a search function in order for you to see only the items or data that you need. So what are the steps in creating a list view search function? So number one is create a menu folder inside the rest folder of your project explorer for your app okay so uh, what you have to do is to right click the rest folder and click new and then create another directory so uh, this is what would be created you will have a menu folder after you create it because inside the rest folder the default is drawable folder the layout folder map folder and the values folder what we should be creating is the menu folder Okay, after you have created that, you create a new resource file. The resource file we are referring to is the search underscore menu that XML. So you create that resource file inside the menu folder by right clicking menu folder and then go to new or click new and then click menu resource file then name it search underscore menu. So right click menu, click new and then click menu resource file. And then number three, put this XML code inside the XML file that was created and name search underscore menu that XML. So this would be the code that you would be putting. So you have an item tag there uh, with an ID of search. And you can put a title there. Just name it. Uh, just put the title search. Just capitalize the first letter. And... These are the two attributes that you need show as action. It may uh, just show always and then this straight line here, which just look for this inside your uh, keyboard or in your keyboard and collapse action view. This would be the value in this show as action attribute. And then you have another attribute action view class. And this would be the value Android that widget that search view. So uh, you can just copy this one and put that inside your that XML. Okay. So number four is to connect your search menu that XML to your layout by generating on create options menu override method. So how do you do that? Okay. Since uh, if you run the application. Uh, you would not yet be able to so we are at step number four right okay so you would not still be able to see uh, the search menu that XML that you have created in your action bar at the top because you have not yet uh, created the override method on create options menu and put the applicable code there so what you do is First, this one, you right click, uh, go to your main activity that Java, and then right click main activity class here, and click generate, and after that you would be seeing this choices of uh, items that could be generated. Click override methods, and then after that you would be able to see these choices and just uh, look for on create options uh, menu this is a public boolean uh, method so after highlighting this just click ok and then you would be able to automatically generate this uh, public boolean method inside uh, as another uh, met override method inside your main activity so this is the default uh, 
content of that method, there is a return statement there referring uh, with the value of menu. So just let it be. And then after that, you type this code, this one, get menu inflator method dot inflate. And then it has uh, variables inside uh, which you would put as parameters are that menu that search underscore menu this are that menu means that you are looking at you are the code is referring to your menu folder it means it means our resources folder that menu that search underscore menu this is your xml file and uh, it is linking to the to the menu your uh, it has a menu parameter or variable here and this would be the one that would be returned by your uh, public boolean method you see here uh, this is linked to this one so the uh, type this code inside on options create menu before the return statement so this should come first before your return statement so this is your return statement just click uh just uh, press return, put the cursor after this one, after this curly brace, open curly brace, and press return so that you have a space uh, between the opening curly brace and the return statement. Okay, so we shall be going into the hands-on after this presentation. So let's go to Android Studio. Okay, so we have a... Uh, I already have the code that we have finished uh, after the first uh, true tutorial, the, the creation of uh, the basic attributes of list view, list view plus the event listeners. So I already have here the, our on set, our set on item selected listener and set on item click listener. These are the event listeners we have discussed in part two. You just go to my other videos and you can see the tutorial on this uh, event listeners and if we run this you can see that we already have a list view here so the click listeners are working and this is the list selector code that we have inside uh, list view so the we have a green list selector we have a divider height so we have a divider that is of this color so you can see that the color of the divider is the same as this one and the list selector is green so this is part one the basic tutorial and the click part is our second tutorial on event listeners so what we do now is just to connect our our search uh, our discussion on the search menu here we already I already have the search menu here uh, the, the item the search menu that XML and we have an item here but it you cannot yet see on the action bar the search menu because we have not yet linked that uh, through our code so we can link that by doing what you have discussed to so the uh, highlight main activity class and right click and click generate and we, we generate an override method as we have discussed and just type on create options menu so there we have it we have the on create options menu you can just search for it and then it's highlighted uh, when it is searched by the IDE once it was searched by the IDE it is automatically highlighted for us so all you have to do is just click OK and the IDE just generates this override method for you. No need for you to remember the exact syntax. Uh, this is the better method so that you would not be uh, having a syntax error. And just after the opening curly brace, just press return or enter in your uh, PC laptop or if you're in Mac, just press return. So here, we are gonna get our get menu inflator method as we have discussed 
and dot inflate and then r dot menu referring to the menu folder and our inside our menu folder we have the search menu.xml i have already done it a while ago and then dot search menu and then comma this is our uh, menu variable which is being returned here in our return statement and we pass and we pass it here which uh, because inside our menu.xml uh, we are getting we are getting the design from here and we are going to get it from here and this would be the return statement that would pass it uh, so that it can be used from other parts of the code so if we run this again we would now be able to see our search in our action bar so as you see here we already have search here because the title of our search here I the title is search so we see here the search uh, word so if we click it we see that now we can type something here in order for us to filter but our application or list is not yet filtering anything because we have not yet uh, included the code inside our main activity that would filter that would filter uh, the items in our list view but uh, before we go to that uh, I shall be discussing to you uh, the concept or the topic on replacing the search word with an icon because as you can see we have not yet uh, replaced that search word with an icon so what you see here is the search word it's better if we put an icon so how do we do that just go to your search menu XML here and put an icon parameter so how do you get an icon so we don't have an icon yet inside our drawable folder so right click drawable and we can get some somewhere here we can get an icon new Mm, let's see new uh, you go to vector asset okay so this is a search icon actually you can I think you can choose uh, what you want so you can this if you have followed along so you uh, let's repeat that so that you can follow along even we was a little bit confused so right click draw ball and click new and go to vector asset and if you want to choose the clip art just click this uh, the symbol beside this clip art and you can choose whatever icon that you want from here okay so what I want is this one where is it it's gone <laughs> what I want is the search icon okay search this one search icon it's named search okay and then click OK and then you have that and just click next and finish okay so it's now inside your drawable folder so when you, you, you when you create this icon parameter or attribute just at uh, type at drawable and then you can see it, that it's there it's being recognized as it's there so if you go to design you can see that you already have it so if you you run your application again you load your emulator okay so it's there already this one okay and okay that's it and actually you can it's black you can make this white because uh, our background is dark 
and let's make our let's make this one white okay how do we do that just and just double click it okay this this one is black so I think we can make this as white okay this one what uh, look what I did I just I just uh, click this one and click the it's it says if click image to open resource okay I click it and then this is the fill color just convert everything to FF uh, okay and then it's white already so let's run that just uh, remember what is the HTML code for white and you so that you can change it so it's now white so as you can see so we have successfully put an icon into our list view and successfully connected the search menu.xml into our action bar or uh, this blue bar above our application so the only thing that we need to do now is to be able to filter our item uh, data for example i want only the those with the letter c to appear or those that contain ca uh, the application should be able to filter that however uh, that tutorial is not within the uh, not included in this uh, tutorial if you want to to get the tutorial on that so i have a separate tutorial the a list view tutorial which is putting the code for the search function to filter our list like this for example you put ind there or uh, you would be able to filter only those items that starts with ind or instead of uh, filter those that starts with ind filter everything that contains ind uh, like this one uh, so if you want to get that i invite you to uh, support me at my patreon.com account so just go to the uh, just go to the <clears throat> so i'll just type it here okay Just go guys to the uh, my Patreon account, my Patreon. I have a a Patreon page. Just go go here. Patreon.com slash Android Studio. And I shall also be putting a, a link to this uh in the description of this video and i invite you to support me at patreon you would be able to get uh, the code and the discussion video on how to filter the items uh, inside your list view through the code that we would be putting inside the on create options menu and uh, not just that not just the video would be able to get the entire code of this uh, list view tutorial from part 1 to part 2 up to this part 3 up to part 4 which is the code on the uh, in filtering our list view items plus other uh, other videos that I have included in my patreon account and the code to that uh, tutorial so I have tutorial on navigation drawer then I have included PDF files on that and uh, I shall also be putting more uh, uh, more videos that are only for uh, my supporters or patrons at Patreon. So I invite you guys to support me at Patreon and you wouldn't regret it. You'd be getting more content and more value. Uh, from the videos and tutorials that I would be uploading there. So thank you for watching this video, this video and see you at patreon.com slash Android Studio. Bye-bye.